All right, Buckle Up, today I'm gonna show you the coolest new method that I've developed, a whole system for quickly writing down ideas, quickly making notes based on whatever that you're writing, whether this is a script for some sort of project that you're trying to make, like a video, a blog post, an essay, a presentation, anything. This is gonna be a really nice way in which you can quickly generate the first draft because most projects, most of the things that you're gonna be working on, they start with the written word. I'm gonna show you really cool ways in which you can speed up and you can even leverage the power of AI. So we're gonna be using AI technology as well as text-to-speech and some other really cool tips that I want to share with you and yes AI if you're too afraid of it if you say like robots are gonna conquer earth I completely agree with you but while it's useful I highly recommend you give it a go wow you're so dominant with that said let's get started I think you're really gonna enjoy it and the first step is obviously gonna be to open the best app that you have access to and in my case that is Stana I highly recommend you check this out if you haven't been familiar with it I do recommend you check out the free PDF guide that I created for you to see if Tana is right for you I make courses on this but yeah do check out the free PDF if you're interested and with that said in here we're gonna create draft one which we're gonna use text-to-speech for right now right now I'm using Windows you will see that if you use the Windows key plus H you're gonna activate text-to-speech. I'm gonna do it in a second. I'm gonna start just talking some stuff about text-to-speech, right? So here we go. Text-to-speech is an amazing technology. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna speak to you. It's a really cool technology that just, I believe, is one of the fastest ways to write down ideas because we all know that there's nothing worse than looking at the blinking cursor in a blank page. Text-to-speech can really help you break that barrier and start writing something really fast. Here I'm using Windows Dictation, which is the default one. And if you use Mac, of course, there's gonna be something like that. And if you're actually looking for something on the phone, because I particularly really like using text-to-speech on my phone, I highly recommend you check out Otter, which has a really generous free pricing plan that I use for quite a while and like you don't even need to upgrade. I will leave a link in the description for that if you're interested or you can just use the building dictation system in your computer. Cool, I think we have enough material now, so I'm gonna stop this. And also, if you're using this, this particular one, I highly recommend you activate automatic punctuation because that's gonna be useful for what I'm gonna show you in a second, right? So just keep that in mind, we can close this now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open chat GPT, which is the AI tool that I was talking about. Because you're not familiar, it's an AI tool that you can give it instructions and it's gonna generate text based on that, like pretty much like Google and steroids plus like some really extra cool stuff like robot kind of futuristic stuff, right? So it's pretty cool. And what I'm gonna do right now is just, I'm gonna ask you like correct grammar in the following text and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste all the text that the text-to-speech generated from what I was saying, right? As you can see, it's gonna start automatically just generating a better version with better grammar of what we just wrote. This is so cool because when you speak on text-to-speech, you might like stumble upon your words, you might not always be able to be like as concise as you want it to be, and you can use AI to help with that. You can also help correct some of the grammar mistakes that the text-to-speech might make. It will still won't be perfect, but it's really, really good, and like you'll be impressed by it. It should be almost done in here. Amazing, so there we go. This is a better version of draft two. Amazing, and I'm just gonna paste the new version. And this is super cool because like in the past, whenever I use text-to-speech and I say like, ah, yeah, I might like grab that text and correct it later and I never end up doing that. So this is the workflow that I actually realized does work really well for me. So yeah, I mean, you can compare the two texts if you want, if you want to post. But yeah, I mean, I'll just walk you through the next step. I really like outlines. So I really like to be able to have like bullet points of ideas that I can rearrange and reorganize. So I will show you a method to do that without AI, but because we're using AI right now, why not just grab this and ask it to do the following, which is make bullet points out of the previous text, right? So it's gonna grab the text that it generated, the grammar corrected version, and it's gonna start writing bullet points based on that text, which is amazing, really fast way to have something very synthesized. And this is based on what we already said, right? Some people use AI to be like, write a blog post on what is text to speech, right? But I much rather give it the information that comes out of my head and make the AI improve that and then synthesize it as needed, and then it's kind of like a reiterative, I don't know that word, reiterative, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a reiterative process on like, you know, you can improve it constantly and you can have like the AI help you and then you use your brain to improve it and it enhances the process, right? So yeah, I can't speak, but you get the idea, right? So I'm just gonna grab this, let's put it in draft three, chat GPT bullets, right? So now here we have a couple of bullet points, which is pretty cool. We could ask it to make more bullet points. So, you know, let's even do that. Let's just say make more bullet points. Let's see what it does with that. Okay, it did it from scratch and I like this one a bit better. So I'm actually just gonna replace this one. So let's just delete all of these and let's just paste the new ones. Wonderful. Let me just read through it real quick. Amazing, this is actually quite good. And what I like about it, like I said, like this is based on my own ideas. And now of course, what we can do is like, now we can just organize this in whatever way. 
that we see fit, recommendations, and here recommended author and, and okay, here's another cool thing about ChatGPT system is that you could say like, what is author? And it starts breaking down what is author. So this is a really nice way in which you can do some basic research. Obviously you can research further and make sure that the content is actually accurate. Amazing, I will tell it to make bullet points out of this. Okay, that one's awesome because you'll notice that it even indented bullet points, which is amazing. Obviously, I could ask it to expand on certain topics, but for now, that is pretty good. So let's just say that here we want to go like that. And now we have even more bullet points. And as you can see right now, we already have a really cool structure based on the actual text to speech that we generated. Obviously, you can just write a paragraph and follow the same process, or you can actually generate the actual ideas from the AI. This is the method that I really like. I give it some information, you know, like draft one, I make it correct that text and then I make it do bullet points based on that. And now I can start structuring things myself and I can decide exactly how I want things to turn up and I can use my human brain to improve it further, right? So yeah, I really like that. Now, let me just give you the alternative because some of you might not want AI or sometimes you just don't need it for like smaller things, right? Maybe you're just writing kind of like a journal and you want this text to be easy to revisit and you might just want to have that in bullet points instead of a big block of text like this one, right? So what you can do is I'm gonna paste that same text in here. I'm gonna zoom into that here in and now what I want to show you is this really cool browser extension for Google Chrome called Find and Replace for text editing. Now, the way that you use this, uh, trust me, it's not as complicated as it looks. You just click on use regex. And now in here, you just give it a, a quick instruction, right? You just say like find every period on the whole text. And as you can see, it's highlighting it there in yellow and then make a line break. You know, this is just the syntax. If you want to research what regex is, it just means regular expression. And this is the type of syntax that you use for things like that. Replace all. I noticed that sometimes when you click it, it doesn't immediately work, which is pretty annoying. So I tend to refresh and then it works. Now we hit replace and that works, right? Perfect. Now you will notice that it made a line break after every full stop, every period. And now what you can do here in TAN is you can select it all, Control X. And now if I paste it, you'll notice that it's gonna go back into a block of text, which is not what we want. What we want to do is we want to paste it as bullet points. So you do that in Tana with Control Shift V and look at that beauty. Now you have everything in bullet points. And again, like we did it before and we can just start reorganizing information as we need. We can use the shortcuts to move things up and down. It's a really nice workflow that I really, really enjoy, right? So that's the idea. So this workflow is already quite nice when you just want to convert the text to speech into bullet points. Again, like if you want to go through the iteration of using uh, AI, then you can do that. And I think you get really nice results, but sometimes you just need something simpler. And that is the method that I just show you right now with the find and replace browser extension right here that again, I'll leave the name of it in the description. Awesome, so I really hope this gives you some cool ideas. I've been using Tana, which I think is a really nice place to do this kind of bullet point outlining structures. So if you want to find out if Tana is good for you, I made a free PDF guide for you to check out if Tana is a right fit for your needs. So check that out in the description. And with that said, I hope you have a great week. See you later, bye. This whole video was made by AI, just kidding. <laughs>